What's going on, Fight Fans? It's your boy C Dub with the Standing Eight Count Boxing. So, in the midst of this whole Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence media circus, we're just going to switch gears completely and focus our attention on this Saturday's matchup, uh, this upcoming Saturday's matchup between none other none other than Vasily Hightech Lomachenko and Jermaine the Technician Ortiz. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, Lomachenko he has been out of the ring for the better part of a, of the year uh, ever since he made the decision to put his boxing career on hold and go serve his country in the Ukrainian army against the Russian invasion that began last February. So this Saturday, October 29th, live from Madison Square Gardens, Hulu Theater in New York City, um, and the ESPN Plus Sports app pay-per-view, we get to see the return of Lomachenko versus Jermaine, uh, the technician, Ortiz. Now, this should be a very exciting um, and entertaining matchup, and I say that because we have two fighters with similar styles. Um, however, there's only one Vasily Hightech Lomachenko. Um Lomachenko, he's 34 years of years of age, 16, uh, 16 wins, two losses. And those two losses uh, came from Salido and Tiafimo Lopez last uh, in, tw- uh, no, not last year, in 2020. Uh, now, since then, uh, Lomachenko, he began fighting his way back by defeating Nagatani and Comey. Um, but then right, uh, right after that, he then made the decision to put his career on hold and go, go serve his country. So this Saturday, um, is obviously a tune-up fight. Uh, Lomachenko, uh, we, we'll, we'll get to see if he, you know, how this time out of the ring uh, has impacted his abilities at all, you know, if at all. Um, I don't, um, hopefully not. Um, you know, ring rust is real. We all know that, um, which is why you take uh, uh, tune-up fights such as this. Now, that's not to take anything away uh, from Jermaine Ortiz, Um he has an he has an impeccable record himself. Uh, he's only 26 years old, um, 16 wins, zero losses, with only one draw. Uh, his last win was a unanimous decision over Jamel Herring. Um, he's an orthodox fighter. He has the ability to switch up to southpaw, uh, but he does have the uh, the propensity to just kind of stand in front of his opponent and just kind of trade. Uh, punches, which kind of leaves him vulnerable to get hit um, with some with with some good shots. At least he did with uh, in the Herring fight, um, but he was really dependent on the fact that he 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 could switch uh, from southpaw to orthodox uh, rather fluently, and I think that might pose a problem. Uh, coupled with the fact that Ortiz doesn't really have a lot of knockout power. Um, like Lomachenko does. I mean, Lomachenko. I think the first time I saw uh, Lomachenko was when he knocked out Rocky Martinez. And I remember thinking to myself, man, this guy, he's a total package. I mean, he's got he, he's literally boxing circles around this guy. Um, so it is my prediction uh, that uh, Lomachenko, you know, will come out victorious in this. Uh, actually, I see a uh, fifth round stoppage uh, if it even goes that far. Um, but uh, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. By all means, drop a comment in the comment section. Hit that like button and subscribe. Smash that bell icon for all future notifications. As always, it's your boy C-Dub with the standing eight count boxing. I want to thank y'all for rocking with me and until next time, peace.